Well, if they're going right into it, I'm gonna hope we're going right into it. Skinny the Pooh and Mabel. It's Hangman, it's Ajax, and we got Mario versus Doc. Hey, chat. <laughs> Sorry for the delay. Things happen. You know what it is. It is online. Sometimes we gotta wait around for a few things. But, for one, Frank, I miss you, brother. Two, we get to get Mario versus Dr. Mario. The, the two, the battle of the two profession choices, and one of which is definitely significantly smarter, but the other one a bit more successful, at least in this game. Yeah. Colin versus White Collar, I gotta see how it peels out, man. We definitely see a lot more Mario, although Mabel's definitely not to be slept on. If we had to see any Doc, they're definitely one worth seeing. Yeah, Mabel actually got a victory here on GGG, I believe it was a week ago, if not two weeks ago, it was very recent. Uh, and just one of those one of those players that every time you look at him, it's like, well, if you're trying to learn anything about a character matchup that is very unfamiliar or unique, this is one of the people you go to look at. That, uh, Mabel is just so smart, such a tech chase monster. Like as far as any stages that we could have got to start, this is probably one of the more even ones. I feel like the lateral orientation of PS2 is going to be really easy for Mario to control, but easier for Mabel to be able to kill across with Doc. And depending on how many platforms we see moving forward in the set, could make or break how well uh, Skinny can break forward. But Skinny's doing a decent job of holding a pretty bloody lead right now. Yeah, Skinny's doing pretty solid, and I, like, after that er first early stock loss, then this backdoor should give him the lead even further. That's another, that's a three stock up to one lead. Like, everything about this stage does, it does benefit Mabel in a pretty solid way that forward is going to take the stock. Because you can run, you have the ability to kill earlier than Mario on a regular, and you can kind of get away as things get issues. Difference is, though, once normal Mario gets in, it's so, they're just so good at zone breaking. Oh, absolutely. Between the Nair, Rar, Bears, both tools that we've seen plenty of so far in the game one, and, like, his own fireballs, like, there's plenty of ways that, uh, that Skinny can maintain this lead. But maybe this next fight, this projectile is not to be slept on, and I can't bow for that up B is not to be slept on either. Frame 3 up B, why is shit? Both of them having the frame 3 uh, get out of shield option, but also you know just using it as a ko option it's so good because there i mean there it is right there that back here on shield you could use that to get out of there and, and this is actually very even right now. oh he didn't go for the down throw i don't think that mabel felt you know in that position it's like all right this is not really gonna work here it's a fantastic job of putting on the damage and as far as like doc's kill potential goes just worrying about the damage in these type of high tension situations is much more important but you gotta watch those roll habits excellent job i'm taking that game one yeah, you already know, like, especially in that situation a second ago, you saw that Mario, uh, like, Skinny went off stage, tried to go for back air against the, like, the side of the stage, right? So what does that do? That forces a buffered roll option because you were preparing to tech. You were preparing to tech the uh, potential back air that would hit you there, and that's probably what happened with Mabel. Mabel, after getting that, went right on stage after the roll because of the, like, trying to preemptively tech, getting the buffered roll, and Skinny covered it immediately. I feel like depending on stage, Mabel could bring this back because I feel like that was a really quick way to return the game to even. Because Skinny took a really quick lead and it, it almost felt like there was no lead to, at all. Yeah, like the very first stock was gone within seconds with pretty much no damage, next to no damage done to Skinny at that and Mabel still brought it back. This is one of those things like I see chat kind of discussing like, is this even? Yeah, in my view, especially depending on the stage list itself, this is borderline as close to a ditto with two different characters as you get because the movesets are the same but the knockback is different so they both have a, the same options to go in differences one of them's gonna kill a lot earlier but if you get caught off the top like oh. that you're gonna die pretty early as well all right let's talk about that kind of lead all right mario being able to run away with a lead is a bit easier but i don't know i'm kind of worried just these neutral attractions He's taking so much damage per interaction. I feel like you can play a little bit more defensive to keep this strong of a lead. I think Skinny is just kind of one of those people that's like, I like the forward button. I'm going to press it. And honestly, because I have... Ooh. <laughs> down throw the problem the with beat. pressing forward. Oh, well, I mean, up he might kill off the top again here. No good DI this time. And, oh, and only at 72, so a little bit, a little bit lower. But we saw in that first stock, that was still relatively close to that same percent. And Skinny trying to cover the ledge get up, but especially get up attack because he's been pretty aggressive at ledge, so probably try to space it out to bait Mabel into the get up attack. 
deep for that. Ooh. He's gonna pay the price. He could have turned this match around so quickly with it. It's so bold of a Doc to try to go that deep because Doc's recovery options are so limiting. Yeah, and used to, especially with Flood. That's like definitely the the make or break thing in this matchup. Is majority of the time is Flood, but when you play a character like if you're a character specialist, you gotta know how to navigate around that stuff. And Mabel's done a solid job. Problem is. Mabel's just getting outboxed a lot. That up smash is gonna do it though. Only 34% on the last stack. That's not even that bad, right? Yeah, no, this is Ooh, super. Never mind, never mind. I spoke way too soon. This, yeah, now with all this damage. I feel like that's one of the big differences in this matchup is that like when Mario get, lands a hit, he's sticking on you. He's not just racking up the damage slowly, hit after hit. He's commanding stage control. While Doc is able to take that damage and make it all back in far less hits. It's still kind of hard to swing out of the corner when you're professionally oh. pushed into it and when you're trying to swing hard out of it. Very quick turnaround in that situation. Let's take a two O in the set so far. Yeah, that one right there was good. I think uh, Mabel was looking to punish a get up attack or something in that situation. Maybe try and time the, the neutral get up. Kind of a kind of rough timing there, but committing to the up B. Uh, I, I think the, the back air spacing that Mabel had going for him beforehand uh, was like in my view better um also late hit nair the the longer that dr mario's nair is out the stronger it actually gets it's, it's so if you use that to kind of like wait around at the ledge kind of similar to the way that you see a wolf or a fox constantly thrown nair out it's a good way to get somebody to panic a bit so i think if mabel focuses a bit more on pure ledge trapping rather than trying maybe like snipe the ko out like we saw a second ago it could close it up but i gotta say i am thoroughly impressed by skinny's play skinny is just like I said, Skinny is basically here saying plumber, the plumber job is paying better for consistent work. Uh, I th this is the way to go. Yeah, it's looking like a good way to live right now, especially coming into game three. Already sticking on him. Hold up, where's this damage? Oh my god. Us? Man's just trying to get the clips too. Might as well while you're on stream, am I right? But still, 83, nearly uncontested. Only now they're just sort of swinging a neutral. But <laughs> Mabel clapped with that. My word. All right. It, it, this is so funny what like j the prior because of the fact that skinny wasn't at pure ko presence even though forward smash sweet spot on mario is very strong he decided to go for combo extension doubt B should be able to get no good job getting back down there skinny not giving that edge guard up yeah mario can afford to get down there and extend those edge guards so that's exactly what you got to do regardless of what matchup you're going into against doc like that's his fatal point his recovery his game off stage is just like I love I love that usage. Like Mar Mario Tornado, like or whatever the down B is called. Uh, the tornado is so good on both shield and spot dodge coverage. But oh, okay, I, yeah, jump was far. gone. Mabel far. had to use it a little bit early. That is the weakness of Doctor Mario as a whole. But up B not gonna do it yet. And also I think I like the fact that Mabel's basically not going for down B because of the fact that Mario has that nair. It's probably gonna combo break out of it. Plus, if Mabel isn't too careful between Flood and Cape, there's all sorts of ways that you can get moved out of position really poorly. And I feel like that's one thing that's just super consistent in this set. It's just having that stage control, having that good positioning, is vital to being able to get away with buttons you're pressing. Yeah, enough. It's just, it, another thing that's kind of funny is like you watch this Dr. Mario's running up to go for that tech chase looking like for the roll or the, the roll away. It was too slow. There's too much stuff in the pockets. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, Skinny going in, looking for the jump on that forward air. Solid idea. Covering the jump there at the back air as well. What are you going to do? You get the roll read as well, the back air. The, so Mabel's probably going to neutral get up in the situation. No, rising with the nair again. Very confident after getting butchered. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Mabel still got some life in there. We still got a heartbeat. The dock is still in. 2-1 count right now, so it's Skinny bringing us to whatever his pickup stage is. Mm -hmm. Now, but, this like, is... The, that's... Like, th this is this is one of those points in the matchup where, obviously, Mabel was down 2-1. But Skinny just lost in what was the situation where Skinny was basically just mauling Mabel at the end. Skinny's got to keep that same level of confidence. Because even though you lost that situation there, it's like, okay, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. I was controlling that entire ledge trap. I made one mistake on the nair on the rising, and then I decided to try and call out a spot dodge instead. He rolled. That's fine. Things happen. Uh, if you're Mabel, you got to be happy because you're not out of bracket yet. But I think that Skinny, after what we just saw, still looks really good going into this next match. Oh, definitely. I feel like these games have been super like fast paced. 
So going back and forth isn't something I'm too surprised about. But I, I'm curious to see if the stage selection is going to end up having like a really big impact or not. I mean, we'll see. I know that they're like, I don't believe Yoshi's is an available pick here. Oh, okay. that would be horrendous to see. So we're actually going to get Kalos, which I, I kind of understand why Skinny went with this. You, we were just talking in the last match about how Mabel is so slow, right? It's so hard for him to get in on those tech chases. But on this one, not only is it going to be easier for Skinny to live longer because of the wider blast zones, it's also going to be easier for Skinny to kind of like get distance whenever he's like, okay, I don't really want to box with Mabel right now. <laughs> oh, hold up, hold up. We are out really deep. We're not coming oh, back. Oh, that's unfortunate. It, it definitely tried the, the up B in that position. You saw the wall jump at the bottom, but unfortunately got the side B. Yeah, I think I don't think the side B gives any lift. A valiant effort, though, but not enough. I feel like one of the things that's super important for this stage, too, is going to be the fact that they can wall jump. They can extend those ledge uh -huh. plays. They can extend their recoveries. And the presence of the platform is going to give a bit of opportunity to mix up at the ledge as well. So there's a few layers to this Kalos pick. Yeah, and you know, I'm, I'm glad you pointed it out too, because we did see, oh, I don't think Mabel's going to be able to make it to the wall fast enough. Yeah, Mab Mabel tried really hard to get in the wall, but because of the presence of that flood, couldn't really afford to go for down B to try and get a little bit of distance in. But we did see in that first stock, Mabel was able to utilize that. This should be a solid punisher right there. Yep, dead into down throw. Gonna go to the right hand side though, instead of the left. Mabel, what are you doing? <laughs> Talking about how we almost had it though? Can we talk about how my man just ate a fireball for his efforts? I mean, that could have gone so much better and so much worse. Like, some things are always going to happen in this life, and one of them is Mario nearing you. So, <laughs> it's uh, maybe not necessarily one of the, the worst decisions in that spot. Oh, where are we at? Uh, Speaking of that, yeah. Nair. Oh, without a jump, you're not getting close to that wall. Skinner was in such a good position. Yeah, we saw this in the last game too. Oh, okay, going for the dash stack, keeping it simple, cover a few options. Oh no, Mabel has been super defensive on any oh, time. He's getting covered yeah. at the ledge. Kenny covers him on the roll again. This is exactly what we saw on the last stock. But back here is going to do it. We already Frank. Exactly Frank. what I mean. Look at this. Skinny constantly is looking like he is in command of this match from where the battle's taking place to who's comboing who. But Mabel's a That's a jump call. That's a jump call. I don't know what's going on. Hold on, the down beam bringing us back. Excellent air dodge. <gasps> Miss spaces the roll read, and that was almost another punish. Oh my god, Maple goes for the run punish! Goes for forward throw! Skinny is in a bad spot. Skinny is a leg. back air away from possibly dying. Oh, a forward air would have gotten it. Now both of them are swinging out of shield. This is getting so scary. Aggressive back air off stage. Does it get hit? The up air gets in the way. The down beam might take it. We're going in the game number five. Oh my god. Yo, Mabel's showing that even though he got the PhD, he could scrap just as good. That was an oh, intense scramble. God. That was so good. That was so the, good. Like yo, the, the decisions with the buttons, dude. That like this is what we were talking running? about. This is what we were talking about early on in the set. Mabel, while playing a character that definitely has a lot of weaknesses, like it's not like Doctor Mario is like a super strong character, but. Dr. Mario has tremendous KO power and the ability to set up a lot of tech situations very easily because of that knockback on him. So Maple has gotten used to constantly calling out defensive habits. And in that ending situation, much like what happened in the last game, Skinny was almost like you get to a point where you feel like you're trying not to lose versus win. And when you get to that point against somebody who's got momentum at the end, it gets really bad, especially someone with the KO power of Doc. So that, I think that's a big reason why Skinny was jumping a bunch because the down airs were there, the pills are constantly pushing him off stage. Mabel kept swinging at him while he was off stage. Like, it gets you frustrated almost. So that was really impressive on Mabel. And again, Skinny had, dude, Skinny had such a good lead and it disappeared. Yo, the beginning of that game, I'm going to keep it a stack with you. He was kind of bodying Mabel, but Mabel's tenacity showed through all the way to the end, just constantly swinging when he can get the damage, holding ledge when he had the opportunity, came out on top of it. Let's see what Game 5 has got for us. A return to Stadium. This is an interesting pick, given how bombastic the rest of the set's been. Yeah, it's true enough. And honestly, remember, everybody, like, Skin, Skinny's been playing incredible, and people still gotta remember to put, like, respect on Mabel's name. Mabel did get a dub here not that long ago. It's also performed incredibly well in a lot of online brackets. 
but Skinny is just, oh my god, things, the tables are turning all of a sudden. Skinny pretty much starts every match by just, like we said, mauling. Just like going in on it, but cannot find the openings because... Babel is pretty much just meeting him with better, like, better hitboxes right now. He's for Mabel, look at that. I feel like the way that Mabel's been able to scout out how Skinny wants to get these hits has just led, it's culminated all to this game five, where Mabel's able to duck and weave around these buttons. And now look at how it's rewarded him. He's stacking the damage. He's commanding where these battles are taking place. He's making his hits count. Yeah, Skinny's got to get, oh my god, there is it again. That's like the third or fourth time that Mabel's been able to roll in completely over the forward smash attempt. Like, Mabel's got a beat on that. If, if Skinny catches on to that at the right time before this is over, uh, with maybe a solid up smash punish, that could be really bad for Mabel. But Mabel is now lapping him in percent. Are you going to call the jump out? Yes, you are. You knew. You knew. What a hell of a call out. Yo, Ajax, I ain't trying to put the disrespect on the man. But I am going to say it. I think Mabel got the download with this one. Yeah, I mean, look, it gets to a point. All right, Up Smash is going to get the point on the board for Skinny. But when we start recognizing, oh, the jump's probably coming here because you're going to put an aggressive option out, maybe a fireball to cover your way in. That gets a little bit scary. Oh, good. Drift back to the, uh, the side of the stage. That could have easily been the game. <laughs> you're wild for it. All right, Mabel wants to end it here and now. He's got Skinny uh -oh. on last stock. He's got about 100%. But there's one thing I got to remind you. There's one thing I got to remind the viewers. That's Mario with Rage. Skinny is not out of it just yet if he gets combo starter. Yeah, and also very similar to what was happening to Skinny when he lost to Mabel. Mabel kind of in kill mode right now, right? You got to be careful when you get into these spots because if you start going too aggressive, you get put into situations like this. And now Mabel's getting pushed off stage. Skinny still very much has a chest. Oh, good job jumping away. But Skinny is just ever so close to finding himself a stock. He could see a final stock if I no. didn't lie to you. That is the game. And Mabel is going to take it in a reverse 3-0 over Skinny. Download complete an amazing performance for Mabel. There's just too little too late, I feel, at that point. Skinny was starting to slow down his game just as Mabel was looking to finish it up. And I feel like if Skinny adapted just a bit earlier, it'd be 